So if you have decided that TU Delft is the right university for you, it is time to start applying. Before you apply for admission, um, you, you need to make sure that you meet all the admission requirements for uh, uh, the specific program you're applying to. If you meet all the requirements, you can submit, submit your application via our digital uploading portal. So make sure to finalize your application before 1 April, because, because that's the final deadline of applications. So I have invited Tonya from our international office. So thanks for joining us. Uh, you're you. going to explain a bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, uh, before you apply to one of our master programs, you need to make sure that you meet all our admission requirements. Uh, we will mention just some of the basics, uh, or the most important, let's say. So firstly, you need to obtain a university bachelor's degree in a closely related field. In case you haven't graduated yet, please provide us with the proof that you have nearly completed your studies. Uh, moreover, we require a CGPA of at least of 75%, uh, an English language certificate with specific scores. Um, yeah, you will find more information at the link you see on the, on the screens. Okay, so far for the, uh, for the admission requirements. So which documents do you need to prepare? So, first of all, uh, you will need to submit a certified copy of your degree uh, or, as mentioned before, a statement from your university confirming that you are in the last year of your studies. Secondly, your academic transcripts that uh, analytically describe your grades. Uh, thirdly, the English language certificate, of course. Uh, please check on our website who is exempted from this document. Moreover, we require a motivation essay, uh, two reference letters, either from your employer or professor, and of course your CV. In case you apply to one of the architecture or industrial engineering program, a portfolio is required, of course. And last but not least, a copy of your passport or ID and the application fee payment proof. Okay, guys, so the motivation essay. Do you have any tips on how to write a good motivation essay? Uh, at least my tip for you guys is like, First of all, to be honest, you don't have to be perfect. Everyone is different and you have to be, it's about yourself. So my advice is take a piece of paper and try to do a bullet list about your personality and try to link that uh, personality point of yourself with uh, TU Delft. Why TU Delft is suitable for you and why TU Delft should allow you to study here. You also have some tips? Yeah, maybe I can add something. Uh, I think f uh, first we have to look carefully uh, at all the required points that you have to address in this motivation letter. You can easily find all those points uh, in the admission requirement on the TU Delft webpage. And then start okay. writing the main ideas based on those points. And then, yes, yeah, Javier said that uh, focus on some of your strongest qualifications. And you can also add your practical or academic experiences. For example, if you ever worked before or did your internship, you can add those points in your motivation letter. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Thank you. So now we know what you need to prepare for your application. Tonya, can you take us through the whole process? Yes, let's see some uh, of the most important phases, let's say, of the application procedure. Uh, firstly, you need to visit our website, of course, www.admissions.tudelft.nl. Uh, but let's see it a little bit more analytically. So. Uh, on the application procedure page, you click on the link to the online application. As you can see, it is highlighted, let's say. And then uh, on register now. And your login details will be sent to your email. Please remember to check your spam folder too. So after changing and confirming your passwords, uh, it is time to fill in your personal details. In case you, may, you make a mistake in the field's surname, initials and date of birth, just please note that you cannot make any changes and you do not need to create a new account. We will make the necessary changes once we start reviewing your uh, uploaded documents. So after completing your personal details, you will need to fill in your academic details, starting from the master you want to apply for. You can apply only for one TU Delft master per year and we proceed with the English language proficiency. For EU nationals, the English language certificate may be uploaded until the 1st of July, provided, of course, that all other required application documents are uploaded before the application deadline of April 1st. 
In this case, they can proceed with the uploading by choosing, uh, by choosing any of the two listed options. Please remember to check on our, on our website who is exempted from this document. And we're almost there. So before submitting your application, please make sure you completed everything correctly and then click on Submit. Once you have completed and submitted the online application, you will receive an email with your pre-application number, which is also highlighted, and the link to the upload portal. And here we go to step three, uh, the My Upload Portal. This portal allows you to upload the required documents. All you have to do is create an account, of course. Uh, please keep in mind that all documents need to be uploaded in a PDF format. Uh, you will find details on the side, uh, on the, your screens. And please avoid symbols like commas when naming your files. So, you have uploaded everything. Before submitting, please check for once more, as you cannot add or delete documents after you have uploaded them. After submitted your application, the status of your documents will remain pending until we start processing your documents. So don't get stressed when you see the word pending. And once the first review is completed, your status will change to either approved or rejected, depending on the sufficiency of your documents. In any case, though, you will receive a confirmation email. It will take about six weeks to process your application, maybe a little bit longer. That's all. Okay. So uh, what, what happens after you get admitted to, uh, to TU Delft? Uh, then you will get access to Delft Tulip, our online community where you will find all the information you need to prepare when coming to Delft. And you can meet your fellow students online. The university takes care of your visa and they can arrange housing. Remember, there are limited spots. Plus, we have a great introduction program to kickstart your academic career at TU Delft. Great stuff. So I think that basically sums it up. Uh, please always visit our website admissions.tudelf.nl for all the information. Uh, so thank you, Tonya. I think it was very clear. Hope so. Anandro, do we also have some questions regarding admission? Yes, and the of course. Uh, mm -hmm. The first question is from Messar Fagia. Uh, does Delft has MSc or PhD in software engineering? Mm -hmm. If so, what are the requirements of international student? Can I submit the full score? Okay, uh, Master in Software Engineering. Yeah. Uh, software Engineering, I think it's a track, uh, either under uh, Computer Engineering or Computer Science. Uh, you can uh, check the website. Um, moreover, uh, the requirements are the same regarding all Masters. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, he needs to, uh, yeah, he will find all the required documents. So we'll go through again the documents. So the, his degree, uh, the language certificate, uh, transcripts, uh, recommendation letters, motivation essay, CV, and I hope I don't forget anything. And the last question was? The TOEFL uh, score. The TOEFL, TOEFL, TOEFL. Well, unless he's a native speaker, uh, he's, um, uh, he comes from U the USA, Great Britain, New Zealand, or yeah. the other mentioned countries, or he has graduated in one of those countries, he definitely needs to submit uh, a TOEFL. Okay. And what are the the level of TOEFL? Uh, well, he 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 needs to pay attention. Maybe the master he wants to apply for belongs to the master that require a minimum sub score. So yeah, he needs to check everything on the website. So at least uh, ninety. Uh, overall, score overall score for all the master overall programs. 90, yes. And then we have several programs which also require a minimum score on each subsection. Yeah. So again, admissions.tudelft.nl for all the uh, detailed ad uh, admission requirements. Yeah. Yep. yep, second one. Finally, we get question from Weibo. Yes. Uh, is it <laughs> easy for Chinese students to get scholarships? And how much will it be if Chinese students can get it? Well, a variety of scholarships are offered to TU Delft, especially to excellent uh, students. Uh, if the students apply before uh, December 1st, they automatically, and they meet all the requirements, of course, they automatically uh, they, they are considered for scholarship. There are more uh, scholarships also, uh, like Holland scholarships, the deadline is uh, on April 1st. Yeah. Everything is on the website. There are faculties, uh, faculty scholarships, and scholarships offered by other organizations. So I would 
advice for once more to visit our website. <laughs> yeah, so okay. we do, TDF does offer scholarships, but we don't have many. Uh, so it's also very wise to look for scholarships outside of TU Delft. So there might be some yes. governmental scholarship mm -hmm. programs um, students might apply for. I think you yourself, you also are on a scholarship? Yes, uh, I'm from Indonesia, so I got scholarship from Indonesian government, from um, Ministry of uh, Finance, LPDP. Uh, I got full scholarship here. So yeah, don't rely on one scholarship. You can try to search for another scholarship outside TU Delft. Great advice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the next question. Uh, I'm still waiting for my official IELTS result. Is it possible to upload this document later? Uh, well, that depends if, uh, if uh, he or she is a European uh, national in this case. Uh, she can upload it, uh, submit it until July 1st. If not, then all required documents need to be submitted before April 1st. Okay. <laughs> And um, yeah, the next question, uh, do I need to send hard copies of my documents? No, no hard copies. The uploading procedure is the only requirement. Uh, you don't need to send anything to us. Yeah, so it's all digital. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the first time, first time we are using this system, the first year we're using this system. Mm -hmm. uh, so it might be that you're talking to current students of TU Delft like, yeah. and they would have confusing. sent their, <laughs> their documents yeah. uh, and they were probably very happy to hear that you <laughs> would have to send all your documents yeah, uh, by need, post. Need yeah, I had to send all the hard copies uh, of my documents yeah. last year. So I think yeah. So yes, yeah, so, so in case they applied last year and uh, they want to reapply, they still need to do the whole procedure from the beginning, uploading okay. everything. Yeah. Okay, and uh, for the GRE, is it required or, or not? For no, it's not one of the requirements, but if you do have the results, you can of course submit them too. Okay, yeah. And then uh, how long does it take till you start processing my application? Uh, well, in the, the first uh, reviewing, uh, it will take us around six weeks. And uh, then we send the applications to the selection committee, which will take around, in total, around eight to ten weeks. But since we're a little bit busy, it might take us a little bit longer, so <laughs> give us some time. <laughs> okay, and then the last question actually I got from uh, this session. Mm -hmm. Is there any specific format for the recommendation letter? Uh, no, there's no specific format. Uh, they just need to be signed, of course, by your referees, either your employer or your uh, professor. Uh, signed by them, but scanned and uploaded by the students. Okay, and what if uh, our professor doesn't want to give a uh, recommendation letter? Uh, well, in this case, the professor, the referee, uh, can send it directly to the MSc Okay. Uh, at tudelft.nl uh, email, and but they need to mention the student's pre-application number, uh, full name of course, and date of birth. All right. Okay, that's okay. it. That was it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you all, guys. So thank you all for joining us for the website. Uh, more questions for our student ambassadors can be asked on the Facebook page uh, or have a look at our website ambassadors.tudelft.nl. And to get a better idea of what our campus and our faculties look like, uh, you can go to our virtual campus, campus.tudelp.nl. Um, if you have any questions regarding admissions and application, please have a closer look at our website. Again, the link behind me. Uh, and if you then still have questions, you can contact our international office by email. And now we've really come to the end of our webinar. I hope you all enjoyed it and find it useful. And maybe we'll meet in Delft soon. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.